that again so I can get the turbo? Welcome back to another video. It's been quite some time. Uh, I've had these videos for a while. I just haven't produced them yet. Um, well, it's got an EcoBoost. It's actually pretty quick. Uh, knowing that I'm an auto vlog guy, I got a turbo coyote right here. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, you'll see some videos of that on the channel. Um, naturally, I've driven her car quite a few times, and if I see anything snazzy on the street, I'll race it because for an SUV, it's an MKT. Like nobody knows what they are, but it's got a 3.5 twin turbo eco boost in it. It's all wheel drive. They're pretty fast, like especially out the hole. It's like nutty fast for a mommy car. She had a muffler fail and it was clogged. I noticed it one day. I didn't have any exhaust or fumes or fog coming out of a tailpipe one day. And I'm like, that's weird. Uh, she noticed it was clogged and it was basically the pipe was clogged with like the fiberglass packing. So I ended up pulling it out with like a rear brake rod from a dirt bike. I pulled out like 80 yards of it to where the whole muffler was gutted. I guess the whole channel piping was eroded and completely gone. Whereas the other side of the muffler wasn't so I couldn't do the same thing to the other side. It was almost impossible to break out the pipe tunnel in the muffler so I could de-gut the other muffler. So we ended up taking it to my buddy's shop, got the mufflers hacked off, and put some new chrome tips on it. Um, I've never seen an exhaust system you can buy for the EcoBoost that I like. They're all raspy. I just don't like the sound at all. It's just a little too much and a little too nerdy if you ask me. So not only that, but it's also an MKT EcoBoost. So it's not very common you can find an exhaust for it versus like an F-150 or a Mustang EcoBoost, a more commonly sold car or more commonly owned car. And I also didn't want to do too much. So I didn't want to do muffler and a resonator delete. Um, I saw that doing a resonator delete was a lot more raspy. So muffler delete seemed perfect. So we're going to go now and show you a small, a small film of the process and a before and after. <laughs> Much better. again so I can get the turbo? Now hold it at like a thousand RPM. Now blip it good. Blip it. I love how you can hear the turbo now. Alright, that's good. Well, you can hear so much turbo now. <sighs> A little cold start. Since then, it's been back. Sounds really good. I love it. It's not too much. It definitely adds some sound. It doesn't sound like any stock EcoBoost on the street. It definitely added a good purr, and it sounds pretty cool throughout the mid-range. Not, I think it's perfect. Not too loud, but definitely snazzy. It made the excitement level of the German car even more. Like I'm, I'm a definite nerd when it comes to this car. So, yeah. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to support it. That'd be great. We'd be making it worth our time to direct it, produce it, and edit the video. Uh, you have a great day. Thank you for watching.